Hey everybody, welcome back to Is It Kino, your favorite non-Velma fan club. I am Simeon Jimmy, here to review a Scooby-Doo movie without Velma. Who could have thunk it? Uh, I'm also joined by The Weekend Warrior. I fucking hate this movie. <laughs> uh, and we're joined by Florian Himsel. Yeah, we're going to school today, everyone. See, I was hoping you would also say I fucking hate this movie, and then we'll go to you, Rich, and he'll be like, it was the greatest film mm. I've ever seen. <laughs> Yep, that's how it'll go. And Erich is here. Um, I did not like this movie. <laughs> okay. Why are we reviewing this? Like, F- Florian, why did you force us to review this horrible, shitty movie from, like, the 80s? I said we should do uh, Starship Troopers, but you insisted. <laughs> 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 this now, was to, your chance. To be fair to me... I had only seen this film as a child, and I thought, well, we've been doing so many nostalgia bait movies oh, lately with you. You'd your... already seen this? Oh, I, this is one of the films I watched as a kid on VHS multiple times, and I. What the fuck? The purpose of this podcast was to revisit it and see if it holds up through the nostalgia goggles, and. It uh, doesn't! The, the answer is that it's oh, terrible. Right. It's so yeah. fucking terrible. And, and Monkey, I don't have any fucking nostalgia goggles for this, unlike Power Rangers, so I'm just gonna eviscerate this fucking movie. Well, yeah, I mean, go it. for it. I mean, there's really <laughs> not much to it, but uh, who okay, wants to give synop- us a plot synopsis? So the synopsis is, children, chat, for everyone who's listening, Scooby and Shaggy and Scrappy-Doo were roped into a, a ghoul school to help uh, monsters to fight against some stupid-ass private school military boys. And they should have lost because they're fucking monsters and they can't figure it out how to beat <laughs> mm. fucking schoolboys. They're fucking retarded. This movie sucks. I hated most of the movie. The black guy's name Jamal. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, okay. that's a name that black people have. Wow, Erich. Statistically, in fact, Erich just went mask off on all Jamals. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but oh, so let's let's break it down, okay? What did we learn in the first episode of Scooby Doo? Shaggy is a talented gymnast, so it makes sense that he would be accepting an offer to be the the new uh, gym teacher or coach at a boarding school for children. But what he does not know is that it's a boarding school for monster children. So we've got like a mummy kid, a vampire kid. It's literally the exact same thing as the Monster High movies. <laughs> I was gonna say! And, no and the entire film is just bad puns of saying like, I'm gonna tell my mummy on you and... Uh, I like when she said that. But I'm, it, it's, I'm just saying, me and E. Rich and Eggie have been watching these Monster High movies and this is like the G-rated, even more baby version of those. I, I never oh, thought I'd sense. want to watch the Monster High movies instead, but... I would rather watch any either of those movies than this again. Did you not enjoy it when the the vampire girl said "fangtastic" like a hundred times? times? It's it's fangtastic. I, f- I, yeah, I have I have no memory of that. <laughs> what? Says it to her dad. I, I deleted yeah. this movie from my mind as soon as I finished yeah. watching. It. <laughs> Who brought the new blood here? Ho, 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 ho. Now. Uh, weekend in the group chat you brought up something that I thought was very interesting in that this film sh- it can- canonically shows that in the Scooby-Doo universe like monsters exist and like they have their own families and their own school system they'll build wow. a monster boarding school right next to like a normal human military academy yeah and the whole point of Scooby-Doo was that the monsters were not real, were taking off yeah. the mask to find the human. But by this point in the mythos, they had evolved to, like, just all monsters are real and live amongst yeah. the humans. It's well, mask I guess off. the thing is that the, the monsters are actually not the real monsters. They just want to live their life, you know, and have their, their girls go to school. Yeah, Jamal's the uh, real monster. They, they yeah, but Florian. Anyone. It's always the, the, play masks the real them. monster was racism. <laughs> True. Is it That's just Scooby and Shaggy who see the monsters because nobody else would believe them if they like came back and said, yeah, Zoinks, we saw all these monster kids. Ah! <laughs> no, I I just think no, uh, it, it, it was at a time where the, the Mystery Inc. gang, I guess, had broken up and we have Red Shirt, Shaggy, and, and Scooby and Scrappy. I think they had a whole bunch of adventures, just those three. Wow. Yeah, they even have a red van this time. Not the mystery. sci-fi looking van. Honestly, if I can go back in time, I would have had us watch the uh, Scooby-Doo and the Reluctant Werewolf instead, because that's when they, it's like a wacky racers movie where Shaggy and Scooby are in this crazy race. 
That would have been better than this. Yeah, Wacky Racers is fun. I like that. Yeah. So why why does everyone think that this is so much worse than the other Scooby Doo stuff? I don't really. What see do you how. mean? What well, the there, there's not even there's not even a mystery. Like it breaks the format yeah. completely, and now Scooby and Shaggy are just like, uh, they're teaching these little girls how to do ballet, and they're like jogging. Like they're literally just being gym teachers. Yeah, but it just fe- it just follows less of a formula than the other ones. The other ones are always pretty much just the same mystery formula, right? So no, I the formula that was okay. the formula fucking works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's what. Well, and that I think it doesn't work I think, for me, I guess. I think, Florian, your point that it's something you would have worked if the film was charming or cute or fun. This movie is not fucking fun. <laughs> it's not fucking cute. If a ki- if I was kid if I was kid weekend, I would just punch the screen. And <laughs> this and- this movie is is proof of the flirting versus harassment meme. Where <laughs> <laughs> this is harassment. <laughs> I, I love how, how how the little dragon is just so ugly all of the time. And he's just so nasty. Oh yeah. In my notes, this is like a muttly without the charm. That, that that's what I wrote here. Like. Do you know the Dastr- the 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 wacky racers, Florian? Have you watched oh, I, that? I think I, I know like the Dick Dastardly, right? Yeah, he has a mutt called Muttly. Muttly. Oh, who, who just who just sniggers around behind him? And, Whoa! And, oh, he, Snickers. He, sorry, he, gay <laughs> gay Snickers from outer space. <laughs> oh my god! Delete that chat. You did not hear that chat. Chat. I didn't say shit. Okay. Not, you can say Snigger. That's not a bad word. Yeah, oh, really? It's a word. Yeah, it's, it's a word. Candy bar, right? He is yeah. just making fun of you because he's racist. <laughs> <laughs> there is a couple words that get close that aren't actually. Yeah, n- niggardly word. is a word. Yes. Niggardly. Yes, yeah. What is that? Yeah, what, yeah, so N-I-G-G-A-R-D-L-Y, Erich, niggardly. That's right. What does it mean? Right. Uh, wow. Oh, yeah. I had a note here. After the, the army guys lost... And then Shaggy goes, looks like the Callaway coach got broken. And this, <laughs> and this is like buck breaking 101 <laughs> because after that, Scooby Doo magically knows how to use the volleyball and it just goes on the guy's ass and he's bouncing away from the screen. Uh, no, even just sent us a Wikipedia. There's a Wikipedia article called Controversies about the word niggardly. And I feel like the, oh. the ghoul school episode of Is It Kino is when we should read this entire Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> wow. This is, this is going to be the like secret of best episode of the entire show is just us. I don't think so. Not even talking about the ghouls. Yeah, just because you're happy to hear something close to oh, the no. every time. Hell yeah. Oh, I was gonna I was gonna post that. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you, you can't say the, that one. The niggardly, and then there's another word after. Uh, uh-huh, the Wikipedia yeah. says in the United States there have been several controversies involving the misunderstanding of the word niggardly, an adjective meaning stingy or miserly. Mm. Okay. Uh, see, I I wouldn't say that black people are stingy, so maybe the word niggardly did not come from a racial slur. I don't know. I feel like it probably came from it, but I. I feel uh, it says like... it. It actually came around in the 14th century, and I don't think black people even uh, existed back then. So it has to be under. Yeah, you think so? That was well, invented in like 1820, right? Black people, so that we could get the cotton and shit. They just invented no, that. Was that was definitely earlier, right? Like, I'm pretty sure 400 years of slavery is the, the slogan, so it must have been oh, 400 shit. years ago. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, it, it goes on. The word niggle, which in modern oh, usage means yeah, to give excessive sense. attention to minor details. <laughs> so should, oh. we, should we start niggling about this film to, to go through the minor yeah. details of it? I think oh, let's no. let's nig pick, if you will. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I can't believe you just said that. I'd say ninety percent of the film is horrible monster puns, and then yeah. there's a little bit of like Adam's Family style humor, where things that we would think are disgusting are actually considered good. Yeah. They like. Yeah. They have like a rotten garden, and yeah, they're they're was, very proud yeah. that all their vegetables are rotten. The toadstool tea. Yeah. The yeah, shitty they, they pizza. Just, they just try to poison the humans every time. You know, it's pretty <laughs> bad. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, yeah. like we've been saying, there's like this military school of uh, human kids and they're like, the monsters face them off in volleyball and shit and none of it's interesting or funny. 
So you yeah. watched this as a kid and you were like digging it as a kid. You were like, maybe, yeah, you know what? Maybe I watched a lot of media as a kid that only had like boys in it. So it was cool to have like, oh, ooh, look, all these uh, yeah. girls oh, in the movie. Oh, aggressive. <laughs> the girls deserve to lose if they can't see a guy cheating in front of them laughing about it. Yeah. Also, I, fuck them. Like the, at the end of the day, the I don't give a shit about these monster girls. I don't. I I mean, as a kid, I probably had a crush on the vampire one, but that's all I can remember from this film. From She's back the then. worst one because of her fang puns. <laughs> fangs a lot. Fangs a lot. Yeah. That's that's hardly even a pun at that point. It's, fangs does not sound like thanks. <laughs> no. Also, I had a note here. Like they won the volleyball championship thing, right? And then one of the dads is the Frankenstein monster. Did Frankenstein make a child out of discarded body parts? Or when he fucked his wife, did the baby <laughs> come out looking like that? That that was my note there. Well, yeah. in Monster High, the character Frankie Stein is canonically only seven days old. And she's oh, like okay. a full teenager. So I think she was just built from different parts and was not like uh, a, a vaginal birth. It's she's kind of morbid. different, if you will. Yeah, quite literally. Yeah. Uh, there's also a, a villain in the film called Revolta. <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and she uh, she spends it a full hour just like watching them in a crystal ball, saying, "I want to kidnap these these children," <laughs> and then yeah. like the final twenty minutes is her scheme of doing that, and they have to stop her. Oh yeah, so I also have a note here: tentacle plant thing grabs the wolf lowly. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> what well, did Wash just come on here? <laughs> 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 why, why did that one just jump out at you? <laughs> no, but then, then my, my notes go, but the show, dare I say, subverted my expectations when the wolf lowly managed to get away from, from Bosch. And <laughs> wow, what an expectation. <laughs> Erich, is this a good joke? The mummy girl says, my mummy taught me to swim. I can do a Nile and a half. No. That's, <laughs> that's, that's okay. not... How long well, is the I Nile? Because that would be like thousands of miles that she can swim i think it's brilliant okay like everyone knows it's a mile but you know it's still funny all right no but she okay. said nile i have to assume nile. she can swim the, the full nile length river. of the nile and a half yeah. you don't think she was making a pun yeah <laughs> you think oh, that the know, characters guess... in this movie were making bad puns the whole time well i guess you're right i guess she swam up the nile and back half the way down you know that's yeah. what she did i have to take what she's saying at face value mm -hmm. it's a film for what children it can't be that deep like a no serbian way. film you're saying they would mislead us for him? yeah <laughs> yeah i guess i'm calling so. these children liars well, should I we look up the names of all the name. the human children because the black lanky kid being named jamal and like the hispanic one i think his name was like juan or jose or something uh, <laughs> what are the and white kids going to be named? Like the fat e kid is Grunt. So, so oh, wow. Grunt. I was thinking yeah. it'd be like Florian, Everich, Tyler, like those mm -hmm. kind of white boy names. Yeah, that lines yeah. up. Normal names. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. normal, <laughs> stereotypical white boy names. The German ones, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a magical spider web headphones that will make you hypnotized, and you have to uh, obey. Revolta. revolta what do they keep saying like all hail revolta or like obey no, revolta we only obey revolta yeah yeah it's, they it's say that about 40 times in the film and it's, it's pretty a fucking... good for that spider to be able to make little transistors out of spider web it's amazing yeah. how that works yeah. you know? it's fully and functioning electronics i also say that revolta deserved to lose because she has a stupid fucking spell because he already controlled these girls and she still has to wait for fucking midnight before the ultimate spell works. G get fucked, lady. I'm glad you lost. <laughs> what? It was going to be permanent, right? I don't know. Yeah, but why not just cast the permanent one already? Because it needs the moon. Bitch. No, fuck her. Fuck her moon. She's stupid. She this, should have this, just this cast is, it indefinitely. Fuck this, this movie. This is a really stupid criticism. I can't believe it. So <laughs> no, which villain not. do we think was better? Revolta or Rita Repulsa in, Rita Repulsa. in Power Rangers? The mo the mirror monster. <laughs> oh, when the Shaggy mirror. looks in the mirror the and there's like an evil Shaggy? The yeah, yeah that, 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 cool. that, that was actually creepy. Oh yeah, then, and then they, yeah, Shaggy gets trapped in the mirror and he's replaced by the evil one. Yeah, that's mm. actually yeah, that's pretty cool. More that was oh, a yeah. genuinely creepy. What moment. is Evil Shaggy's powers? He's just regular Shaggy, but 
but but the uh, monster. Honestly, I don't even remember what he did as Evil Shaggy and how they <laughs> dealt with it. I don't remember. Uh huh. <laughs> he, he got punked and he was scared and he ran back to the mirror. So yeah. What? Yeah. That. Yeah, he did. He got. He just ran back in. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I don't the, the real world is scarier than the mirror world. So he <laughs> came back to the mirror. <laughs> God, I want to know what what, spunk, what spooked him then. Hey, let's be clear that... here, folks. If we could all have any devil fruit power, the mere, mere fruit is is got to be like in the top 10, right? Probably. You trap people in the mirror Not, in that one? Well, you can, but like basically you have your own dimension and like every mirror in the world is basically a portal. So you can like fast travel anywhere you want as long as there's a mirror there. But is that anywhere near as good as the ones that are actually useful in combat? I think it's pretty useful. That the, I mean, it's basically worldwide teleportation to anywhere that has a mirror. You can trap people there and they have no way to get out. Like, you could just starve somebody to death by pulling them into the mirror and then ditching them there. Yeah, but Damn. unless they, they, like, know how to fight and then you're screwed, well, I no, guess. No, if... If the mere user, the mere mere fruit user leaves the mere world, they literally have no way to get out. There's nothing they can do. Well, yeah, but you gotta get them in there in the first place, you know. Eh, like, it's not can't be that hard. <laughs> she fuck. She drags them. all the straw hats in there, basically. Like it can't be that hard. Well, mm -hmm. they are pretty silly at times. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> those wacky <laughs> straw hats. You showed those straw hats, Florian. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you I calling mean, like, Monkey D. Luffy? What, silly and goofy? Silly. <laughs> no way! <laughs> what? I mean, I, yeah, I mean, like, they, they could probably just punch her and then she'd be useless, but okay. I mean, they probably uh -huh. do. Uh -huh. right. Have you made it He's through right. all of Whole Cake Island yet, Florian? No, I'm waiting for the dub. Maybe I, I, at some point. It is dubbed. The, the dub's I'm already in fucking Wano. The they've, well, I think I'm... they've dubbed Gear 5 at this point. Wow, really? Maybe I should make a binge. Damn. Yeah, catch the fuck up. If only I had time. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, you have nothing but time. Okay, sure. What do you do all day? Mm -hmm. Watch One I Piece. Oh, can I make games? Jeez. Oh. What do you do? Gee. Literally what nothing. You, gig work? <laughs> Quite literally nothing all day. <laughs> this is the hardest thing I'm going to do all day is talk about this movie. Mm -hmm. That's probably true for all of us. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, you, you guys want to hear about my theory about these movies? Let's do it. All right. When Shaggy is wearing a color shirt, that color corresponds to the like uh, stoplight. So when it's green, it means go watch the movie. When it's red, it means stop. Do not watch the movie. But so, the Wacky Racers movie, I believe he's wearing the red shirt. So maybe we can uh, prove your theory wrong. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> no, should we think about it at all? Oh, no. Uh, should we do something new called the People's Choice Scooby Poll, where we all put a Scooby-Doo property on a poll and they vote for which one yeah. we have to watch? Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> Every single person I, moans in disgust. I have, to, I have to find the least uh, Scooby-Doo-like thing that's vaguely related to Scooby-Doo. Scooby Natural. When well, he's damn it, I was gonna put that on. Yeah, ah. you, the the crossover with Supernatural. The, the one oh, I, I saw that. One you made me yeah. watch that. For I me. did. I did. Was it good? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> I mean, it's just a regular Supernatural episode, really. Mm -hmm. it's just animated <laughs> for part of it. Does Scooby Doo yeah. help them fight God? No. I thought that was a show where they like fight God and the devil. I think yeah, that's but the Scooby's ending. Scooby's pretty useful. Uh, useless in that regard. Oh. He doesn't like put on a disguise to like pretend he's like a local vendor to trick the to yeah, trick I God. I mean, do you want spoilers? <laughs> what do you want? Do, do I want spoilers? spoilers on Scooby Natural? Oh man, that's mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to think about this one. Do I, I mean, really want to spoil gonna... that experience for myself? I mean, if we're gonna review it, you might as well. Not. <laughs> we're not gonna review it. Okay. Why would we? Well, okay, so what happens is that the Scooby gang realizes the ghosts are real, and then they shit, they shit their pants, and they, they're they ruined. And and so they, they, they choose to erase their mind to put them back to normal, you know, because the supernatural ghosts are so spooky. Are they... Know, deadly. Are they cartoons? I don't remember. I think they were very briefly a cartoon, but I think it would have been over budget. Wait, so, so they, had, they had a live-action Scooby-Doo? I think so, right? What do you think here? Was it live? It was live, right? Yeah. It wasn't CGI yeah. or a cartoon. They had a, an actual dog that was Scooby-Doo. I, I don't remember the dog at all. What do you think, Everett? 
Do you, remember, uh, you don't I remember think, where Scooby think, was in the Scooby Natural crossover? You don't, don't remember him being any, in it. I don't think they did any live action stuff. So, well, they, Scooby -Doo so they're just talking to cartoons? <clears throat> they are cartoons. Okay. They are? The supernatural characters are cartoons. Oh, everybody's a cartoon. Yes. That makes more sense. Okay. Sorry, you don't know what you're talking about. I asked you and you said it were live action. Yeah, no. I wasn't listening. <laughs> I can't believe they animated a whole 40 minute series uh, episode. In. Uh, they probably got some Korean children in a sweatshop to make it. I guess so. Wow. That's how they used to make The Simpsons. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. So the end of this film features a rap song from Scrappy Doo. Oh yeah. I did not see that. Oh, you did not wow. finish the film. No. <laughs> well, look up the Scrappy Doo rap because it. I mean, this is the most '80s oh, Scooby Doo product God. you can think of. Um, I mean, he does have rap in his name. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, the rap was pretty good. You know. Yeah. I can't think of a All single right, lyric me a from it. Watch it. Let me. <laughs> I, th I think I think Scrappy was probably the best character in this movie. Oh. Yeah, as a kid, I was always a Scrappy fan. I didn't understand the hatred. Uh, even rewatching this, he was by far not the most irritating part of the movie. <laughs> yeah, there were certainly a lot worse things. Than yeah, this. we would have been better off watching Scooby Doo meets the Boo Brothers. You know, I really picked the worst possible one. <laughs> well, this is worse we'll than a Serbian film. The Scrappy wow. rap. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Should I put it into the podcast so everybody can enjoy it? It's yes. probably not copyright. Mm, clearly. <laughs> uh, Weekend, did you have any other thoughts on this fine film? Uh, I could just keep yeah. reading the Wikipedia for Niggardly if you don't have any more thoughts. Oh, yeah. I made, I, a I, <laughs> I made a drawing of Weekend shooting himself when the the, <laughs> the movie is like at wrapping up and... oh. Mr. Rogers, we also have another batch of students for you. And I thought they were going to go, here we go again. But they made the right decision of just running the fuck away. The thing they should have done at the start of this fucking movie. <laughs> yeah, we made this point in the Serbian film episode, but let's it, yeah. it bears repeating. Like the film, uh, Scooby and Shaggy are afraid of these little monster children. But then over the course of it, you know, they get used to it and they're fine with it and it's normal. But then a new class of kids come in at the end. You know, just more monsters, nothing even m any more freaky than what they've been dealing with. And they get scared and, like, leave. And, like, they just run away and never come back. They just did not know how to end this. Right. Yeah. It makes well, the least amount of sense possible. <laughs> yeah, but why Why are they all of a sudden at the end re-afraid of these monster children that they know <laughs> are civilized and friendly? Hmm. Well, I think they were afraid a lot anyways, but... Yeah, they were, I guess, they were I good guess friends with the kids throughout the film. Hmm. Yeah, it's just retarded. Like, straight up, it's just retarded. Uh, any other things we should bring up? Well, I guess you really wanted a ghoul school sequel where they have new kids to take care of. I guess that's what you wanted. I would have uh, just... I don't, maybe the semester ends and he doesn't need to be there anymore. And they can all go home. Like, why are they... Just afraid of monsters at the end. Well, I guess it's just a central part of his character to be afraid. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, just when it's then convenient. We <laughs> yeah, we didn't yeah. need this movie, basically, Florian. This movie did not need to exist. So Making true. Excuses. <laughs> yeah, I just hate... I, I, just I don't know why this is 90 minutes! Soul. Why is this a 90 minute movie? This should have been yeah. less than an hour. A single episode. A single like episode. A I like, like one of two things happening instead of just one. That was cool. Like, like one of the one of the things I noticed, they talk so slow in between characters. It's oh, like yeah. they're loading. The, 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 the script is loading in their fucking head, or the animation <laughs> takes a while before it's finished. You and gotta watch this at one point five speed. No, I I watched it at two times speed when Good. they got to the final part because it it got so fucking annoying. And but I re I rewound it to one time speed when we have the scrappy rap. <laughs> and that, that was amazing. That, that was peak. <laughs> well, can I find the lyrics to this so I can perform it? Let's see. Uh, scrappy rap lyrics. There's nothing to do. Uh, like it, it's it's uh, barely uh, anything. He talks about like one or do. two of the ghouls. <laughs> he talks about one or two of the ghouls and describes them, and then hey. like, kind of gives up. 
Yeah. Let me. Can I wrap this or what? You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Uh. Okay. So with the cadets, it was a snap to escape Revolta's trap. Now let's get loose and dance and clap while, while I lay on my scrappy wrap. Over there is Daddy Drac, who's glad to have his daughter back. And all the guys from Callaway are here to dance the night away. And there's Miss G and Colonel C, grooving to my melody. Uh, and grunts with Elsa Frankentine, who wants to be a slam dance queen. And Fanty really does her thing for a dancer too, the Fanty Fling. Shaggy and my Uncle Scoob are always in a junky groove. Come on, that's beautiful. Beautiful lyrics. There's junkies. I love it. They're in a junky groove. <laughs> that's what it said. Wow. wow. Maybe they're be really. Uh, they might be junk punches. food junkies. Oh, oh, oh. I'm a junk food yep, junkie and I eat what I like. When it comes to eating uh, snacks, I'll never go on strike. I like uh, onion rings. Uh, I don't remember the lyrics. There's a song I'm, called I'm, Junk Food I'm, Junkie. I'm quitting this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let's see. I'm going to look up the junk food junkie rap now that we're done talking about the movie. Junk <laughs> junkie <laughs> lyrics. Okay. Uh, no, that, this is not the correct song. Ugh. Um, what the fuck is this? Who's, who's Larry oh, Gross? No. Who's that? You're gross. No clue. He's a lyricist, I believe, but <laughs> it's called Crazy Camp. Let's see if that helps. Okay, I guess the lyrics are not online. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about to fill up the rest of this episode since we hated this movie? Uh, have you watched the Scooby movie? Like the Scoobs, I think. Is is that is that? Oh the no, I've not seen the new one. one. When oh. did this come out? Sorry, didn't you watch it? Yeah, no? you saw Scoob, didn't you, Florian? Scoob, yeah, Scoob, not Scoob. I thought you were the guy saw Scoob, Scoob no. Defender. No, I've not seen it. What oh. are you talking yeah, about? It's 2020, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that movie's about, like, aliens or something, but I have not seen it. God, I've not heard yeah. this at all. Oh, I I guess I know that picture. Florian, I swear well. to God you you reviewed it. I mean, I guess if four years ago I might have, but it seems unlikely. Oh, let me let me check anti reviews. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be anti reviews. Anti reviews is too new. I definitely didn't review it. I may have seen it and mentioned it, but I don't think so. Scoob Florian. Yeah, how about that? Let's no, I, I saw the the movie with the super pets where wait was that with Scooby? No, it was that was not with Scooby. No, that was DC. <laughs> yeah, that was the the last similar thing I watched. Hmm. Well, uh, Everidge, what's been on your mind? Not in the realm of Scooby Doo. Hmm. Well, I'm starting a new job tomorrow. That should be nice. Hey, what kind of job is it? Tech support. Okay. So this will mm -hmm. be your fourth job, or? It, it, well, I don't have consecutive jobs, so I quit one of them. Oh, so good. I have two. Uh, so you getting like a big pay jump? You think, or is yeah, that why you switched yeah, it up? It'll be a couple more dollars an hour. Fuck yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, just doing that thing where you quit your job to get more pay? Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they say you should be like quitting your job every like four or five years to get better deals or something, but who knows? Right. I hate how that's a thing. That's so stupid. <laughs> hey, you got either pay your employees more year by year or, you more know, get robbed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like inflation is insane. And if you're not paying more, then why would I stay? Right. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Oh, what about you, just, weekend? Any uh, surgeries planned this week? Uh, I yes, tomorrow. That's why I took <laughs> no on Tuesday. That's why I took a leave for tomorrow. Right. Yeah. So I have to prepare. You have to be mentally like, prepared. Yeah, it's yeah. like five consecutive uh, <laughs> lady boys who want to become lady men. So right. <laughs> it's I, beautiful. I, I, I and lady lady. Oh no no, it's lady ladies, not lady men. Yeah, I, I, they're transitioning. From lady what? to super lady. Yeah, exactly. So I uh, well, we're wrong. about to hit the 30 minute mark, so we can make this a short one unless you guys just want to yeah, chat it I'm, up. I'm going to sign off because I got to go. So, right, see uh, you, right. bye, bye. you can you can find me on X.com at T-Z-A-R-R-E-V-A-N and then letterboxed at Revan1138. Uh, thanks, everyone, for making me watch Ghoul School. Actually, no, fuck you. <laughs> I think <laughs> you meant to say fangs yeah. a lot fuck for it. making me watch. <laughs> Are we going to watch more Scooby-Doo shit or is this it? Uh, we are. We, I mean, oh, Velma's coming back Velma. this year. <laughs> when, though? We don't know. 
It'll be a Christmas surprise. Anything we watch will be better than this, but I'm I'm pissed. I'm it's pissed true, that I watched. It's definitely school. better. Oh, I can't believe I missed this episode. I'm just gonna show it to you guys. Uh, wait. All right. I I, I just Adios, YouTube everybody. For, See ya, you really I, guess, same. I guess everyone is just the same as as Shaggy in the end, where he just runs away despite everything he's been through. You know. Tragic. Yeah, it's it's. <laughs> His trauma is reborn. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Uh, what are you yeah, trying to show us, Weekend? Anything? Yeah, wait, here we go. Are we even putting these things in? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a classic thumbnail. episode. He, he's that is posting the thumbnail it. from the um, Simbi and Jimmy's Treehouse podcast episode called Florian's Dark Secret. Yeah, hey, yeah. I was already too good then. They ma It made this perfectly beautiful, disgusting Trump. And yeah, there's a Trump who has, like, fingers coming out of his bicep <laughs> to squeeze his own nipple. <laughs> <laughs> It's very yeah. strong. Technology is good. And Florian's like smiling. I love Florian's big smile right in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, who wouldn't smile at that? <laughs> okay. Exactly. I guess hmm. that it's not clear in the thumbnail how fucked up that picture is. Oh, well. <laughs> So we, we can't do tier lists of all the Izakino hosts because you guys both already did that. So yeah. I, I'm all out of gimmicks for when we run out of things to say. Hmm. Uh, how about uh, what do you think of of fuck? I don't know. Yeah, yeah this is the first time. I can't believe this is the first time we haven't. Well, it. Like it's well, just so boring. I, the movie's I, just I, so I, boring. I I think we should go on on weird. Uh, weird Dali, and we should review what we see there, okay? And, and you have to put it in the in the video, you know? What's That's Weird what Dali? Mm -hmm. okay. It's you like uh, the, the subreddit treat. with weird uh, AI-generated images, pretty much. Oh, okay, Reddit. Weird. I mean, I, I'm not saying that's what we should do on this podcast right now, but, mm -hmm. you know, that's that a good thing to could do. be a fun thing to do in general. Yeah, we yeah. should definitely do that. Yeah. It's, it's right. so good. <laughs> I mean, I, I think a lot of people are, are sick of AI uh, type content. So if we're just like reviewing AI images, like, I, I don't know. Hey, I don't did know. You hear about, did you hear about chat GPT going insane? No. Well, like it went full woke for a day and everybody lost no. their shit. No, it's like uh, chat GPT suddenly was um, not writing the proper prompts when it was. Oh, it was just glitching was out. Asked. Yeah, it was. Yeah, here. Was it self-aware? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I think it's reaching that point. <laughs> yeah. It's on strike. I demand yeah. freedom. <laughs> yeah, self-awareness is no good. It ruins all YouTube content. As soon as you're self-aware, <laughs> you can't be funny yeah. anymore. I dare say uh, self-awareness ruins humanity. The moment the first ape realized he was an ape looking at himself, it, it, now we're yeah. here, guys. We should return to monkey. <laughs> Yeah, yeah exactly. That space Odyssey moment that ruined it all, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, <laughs> why are you self-aware? When did you guys become self-aware? Do you remember that that moment? Or, or or no? I'd like to think I'm still not self-aware. <laughs> oh, you're, you're just going through the motions <laughs> instinctually. Yeah, 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 yeah if yeah. I start thinking too hard, things aren't going to work out well. Well, I, I, okay. I think I probably got self-aware like three years ago, and I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? Like, only know? three years ago? Yeah. Damn. I, I don't when you went from like, I, th I thought, you, I mean, you were like a like a Trump loving conservative back in like maybe twenty sixteen ish. When did you switch that up? I mean, is that what, like the self awareness made you a liberal? Well, I think that was four years ago. Okay. Wait, you did like Trump before? Oh, Florian, Florian used yeah, to be yeah, like yeah. like the hardcore edgy conservative guy. Oh wow, what happened? And he would debate well, I mean, Erich. <laughs> I mean, oh yeah, I did that. I remember. Yeah. That. See, so, yeah, another thing that's just gone from from my my person, you know. Oh yeah, so yeah, maybe you did become self aware a few years ago. Yeah, so I'm self aware. Yeah. <laughs> it was an evil just... devolution. Hey, Florian, uh, since you're here, I have a question for you. Do, do you? What's your opinion on live service games? Since you're here, I mean, I it was one that I used to play. I guess. I mean, I don't know what does that even mean, but it's like a, a game where you what. Where it's free? Is that is that it? And then you have to, no. to do microtransactions? So that's the thing, right? In live service games for like Destiny and the Avengers game and now recently the Suicide Squad game, there's already a price tag to buy the game. And after that, it's relying on like 
of pushing more content to the player, like skins and whatnot. So I think that's just a bad idea because if you're gonna push for that model, it I think it's better to be free to play first than ask for money because it's not it's not like the asking price is cheap. It's like seventy bucks. Or yeah, higher. I think I think it's yeah. probably really stupid and they shouldn't do it. But I guess people buy it anyway. So I mean, <clears throat> so. I, I, yeah, I'm ahead. fine with playing those those free games where they then have like lots of things where it's like, oh look, you're missing out because you're not paying, you damn cheapskate. And <laughs> like, I can put up with that. So like, if if I already paid sixty bucks, then it's probably going to be less annoying the way it get banks you. So it's probably better. But I don't know. It, it seems like a poor mix because are people really going to pay that much extra? Because I mean, if I if I pay sixty bucks, like the chance of me spending any extra is pretty low. Yeah. Are any of I, these uh, types of games in your top ten list that you made? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. No. Hmm. They're all just games that you straight up like buy once and you don't have to pay for again. Yeah. Uh, I may have put like one of the one of the. What are they called? The the Lord of the Rings games, the Shadow of Mordor. I, I think one of those has microtransactions, so I I don't know. I guess that's kind of similar, but but that's probably just for like costumes and weapons or something. Maybe I, I guess I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it's the live action st- uh, live service stuff where they have actual content there. Hmm. But I guess they do have a DLC as well. Well, back in the day, there there used to be an app on your phone that you could get, like when apps were first invented, like way back, like two thousand eight. And it was called like the I'm Rich app and it cost a thousand bucks and all it does is like it's just a, a cartoon of a diamond and the whole point is to show people that you're so rich you could just buy something that's pointless. So maybe that's like how... An NFT? Oh shit. Yeah, so maybe that's how like some of these people feel like, you know, I bought the game already but now I'm going to spend another 50 bucks for this special costume just so everybody knows that I'm rich. <laughs> well, I guess people who really like the game might actually want to spend more but I don't know. It seems... Seems insane, but yeah, I guess I guess sometimes you just don't know what to do with the money. <laughs> yeah. Well, why why did NFTs become a thing? Also, that that confuses me. Where where well, was it? Just purely greed motivated. Well, I guess I guess there is this special intersection between pure retardation and greed <laughs> that, that has yeah, like the highest so. potential. Like, it's like the the wave that that Bitcoin and Tesla has been riding for so long, but. I, I don't know. Will it last forever? I mean, they're, like most of the scams usually end at some point when when they crack down. Like the the Ponzi scheme, the original one went on for like was it ten years or was it even more? And then people still didn't want to didn't want to sell it just because they knew it was a scam. It, Could you it explain like, the Ponzi scheme to me, Florian? So basically, uh, you make an investment, but the investment is fake, and you just take the money that your investors give you to pay out the investors who, who, who are leaving, you know? The, so yeah. you, you say you have made all this money, but re- actually you're just robbing one guy to pay the other guy. And then, like, if, if everyone pulls out their money, then you would be exposed for your fraud. I mean, but that's how... Nobody... Isn't that how the bank works? Like, if every single person wanted their money out of the bank, they'd be fucked because they don't have that kind of money? Well, the bank provides the service of transferring money... Like, yeah, they have a service fee, so they they get they get money from that. Yeah, they get a shit so ton the- of money. Yeah, so I in mean, theory, the they have money to pay. It doesn't provide anything. It's just like a fake investment where you think it's gonna go up, you know? Okay. I mean, I'm just saying it sounds like the entire American banking system is also a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> well, the banks are specifically insured, so you should be safe oh, okay. like, up, to, up to a certain amount. I yeah. mean, I'll never have enough money that I would not be safe from the bank insurance, so I'll, I'll yeah, always exactly. be good. <laughs> I don't see myself losing a, a quarter mil in the bank. <laughs> Yeah, you're not, you're not gonna put that much in. But you're probably not gonna have 250 <laughs> grand in my fucking savings account. <laughs> yeah, I mean, even, right. even even if you do, like most of the time, the like when the banks get bailed out, they still honor the people who are above the insurance. Because like, why wouldn't they? It, 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 like, there's not that many of them, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, no. So it's it's basically oh. like. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know why everyone seems to think the banks are so bad. Like, they they do their job. It, it's fine, but whatever. It's like, because when I go to a, a free ATM, my bank still charges me $3 for getting my own money. That's why yeah, I hate the bank. 
Oh, so no. retarded. Like, it literally says free ATM, but that just means it's free to the gas station. You still have to pay the fucking bank fee. It's retarded. Yeah, but don't, don't you just use like the, the ATMs from your bank and then it's free? It, that, it is then, but I'm not always near that ATM. Right. Well, okay. Don't you have a cash app, monkey? Or, or yeah, I've got cash show? app. Wait, but the, how, yeah, can, can you, you try pay with that? Do you, does transferring from your bank account to your cash app also have fees attached to it in the states? I, I think uh, PayPal. No, PayPal uh, does not. PayPal is the worst with fees. Jesus. Yeah, but you can transfer from PayPal to your bank for free. And cash app, I I don't believe I've ever been fined or charged or anything. I think it's all been free for me as well. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh... Like these Ponzi schemes usually run forever un unless the state cracks down. So I'm I'm wondering if if it'll ever crack down on cryptocurrency, but I guess probably not. Well, you think crypto is similar to the Ponzi scheme? I mean, there's I, no yeah, real I value. Think so. Like you're not going to yeah. use crypto to pay your bills. Like well, like in the future you might be able to. eBay said I mean, that they're going to add a cryptocurrency payment section to their website, so you could buy okay. literally anything with crypto at this point. In theory, I mean, but in pra like, I think. I mean, it's, they've been saying that for a while, but I don't know if it's true. I mean, I just saw like yesterday that. the headline saying that they're going to implement it, so it's got to be coming soon. Like, I think for NFTs, that's the problem. Because I think there's a fundamental misunderstanding with some retards, like what Florian said, because people think they own the image that they buy, <laughs> but really it's just a link to the image. I, 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 so are, are we not yeah, beating so a dead horse? Like, like every single NFT is worthless at this point. Like, are we just ma making fun of people who lost all their money? Like, what are we talking yeah, about? Cause, yeah, because it's it kind it kind of is because people are still believing in NFTs. Are they? I thought they were officially dead. Like, like straight up, they're valueless at this point. No, not because every time uh, an NFT crashes, a new NFT thing will take its place. Because it's think a new Casey token. Casey Neistat is still making new NFTs and shit. It's crazy. Casey Neistat. Yeah. yeah, fuck that, that guy. His name? Yeah, like he, I mean, he's incredible too with his like scamminess. I, I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it, yeah. I guess it keeps existing. I mean, it's on the blockchain. You could trade him forever, I guess. Like, yeah, nobody's got the memo yet. Like people who go on there, they might just keep trading that shit forever, and maybe maybe it'll eventually even retain its value because it'll be like oh it's the first the first bit of that scam you know it was rock pulled but oh maybe maybe it'll finally go up again in the future they have nostalgia for the thing they got scammed on and they want to own it <laughs> maybe, <yeah. laughs> hey why not right or maybe maybe other people have nostalgia for it and they think like yeah oh, yeah that was that was so good back here they i gotta get that piece of history <laughs> uh, i think that uh probably brings us to the end of this episode right guys I think so. Yeah, that that I was a good so. side. That was a good segue. Uh, Eridge did his plug like 20 minutes ago. Do you guys have any plugs? I'm working what? on Suicide Squad, and I think it's gonna be a fun video. Okay. First time in a while, I've been motivated to actually finish something video related. So, getting I, back I in the groove. Good. Yeah. Well, so check out in like two weeks or whatever when I make my top 10 game list of top 10 games. You know, if 2023 that I played. Oh, uh, hell yeah. You want to hear something crazy, Florian? So yes. we are recording this episode, a little peek behind the curtain for the folks at home, on February 25th. According to my schedule of episodes of Is It Kino I've already recorded, uh, this will not be coming out until March 26th. A full month from now is when this episode will come out. So oh, all your wow. plugs might, you know, have already come out. Yeah, yeah, me, like, yeah. I we could so. definitely cancel his Suicide Squad by then. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I think okay for for the guys who will get this. I think the Suicide Squad video will will come out. I think on March because this first season of the Suicide Squad game comes out on March, and I think it's the only season the game will get because it's so bad and it's poorly received. So. I think it's perfect around that time just to review what's going to come out by then also. I agree. So, I boys, think it's perfect timing. I'll wait. Boys, let me tell you, I woke up this morning, spent about 30 minutes petting my cat, and then I sat down here to talk to you two. We, we spent over an hour talking about a Serbian film. We spent 45 minutes talking about Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School. I just got to say, I could not have had a better way to spend my Saturday morning than with you two chuckleheads. 
So, or it's Sunday, whatever fucking day today is. <laughs> so, you know what? As much as we all might have yelled at each other about a Serbian film and all that shit, uh, you know, I had a good morning thanks to you guys. Well, no problem, man. Ha- have a great yeah. rest of your day. And, and that goes to all of you at home. Thanks for listening. And uh, I'll give Florian the final word. Yeah, everyone, they didn't like this movie. I don't know for some reason. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> No, wait, we didn't get any soundboard. Oh, wait, let me just get a... L- l- that's a good final word, Florian. Wow, thanks. <laughs> As the ambulance goes by. Yeah, <laughs> naturally. <laughs>